What's up guys, JB here with Iconic Mods, and today I got a hot new video out there for all you guys who love RGB. If you like me, it's a guaranteed must that you have to have it in your setup, because why not? RGB all the things, right? So uh, yeah, let's talk about it. All right, so let's crack this bad boy open and see what we get. The box, as you can tell, is pretty nice. This nice thick box, you ain't gotta worry about nothing being too damaged in there or anything like that. And then of course, Amazon, uh, oh, excuse me, Razor Direct. They boxed it up pretty nice. Um, all right, so first thing we get, as you can see, you can see the cable, the USB cable that it comes with, it's capped off and all of that looks good and uh, there's razor written on it as you guys can see it says razor right there on the cable itself which is normal then let's see of course we have to have stickers right gotta have that razor branding baby which almost nobody's gonna use so let's toss that so crack the box open and here she is in all her splendid glory Hold on, what, what's this? So inside, in the middle of everything, we got some literature that, uh, yeah, again, nobody's gonna read, toss. So this is it. This is the whole mouse mat in its entirety. Here's the control box, as you can see, it's got the Razer branding on it as well, just like on the uh, USB cord. And then it's wrapped up. And it's got a tube on the inside to keep it from squishing. And the reason they did this is they don't want to damage the light tube that goes around the edge because uh yeah if you break it that's a wrap so that's it so um there's nothing else in the box so let's put it in the setup download the software that we need to download and see how this baby looks in real time okay so now as you can see once we plug it in the razor Goliath this uh software the razor gaming software pops up on screen so that way you can co congratulate you, blah, blah, blah. You can calibrate it and make it look all good and snazzy. So you click on that <clears throat> and then it tells you to install all of this stuff. Um, optional Synapse stuff that you can do, Chrome and Macro. <clears throat> I don't really want the macros because it's not gonna do anything for me. Um, then, oh, I guess, yeah, why not? Let's just do it all. So we're gonna do a quick install of everything right here. It's downloading. <clears throat> There's 224 megabytes, so it's not very huge for the most part. Um, like I said, I've or I have IQ software on my rig because most of my stuff is Corsair except for this. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so while it's installing, as we can see, New Razor HyperShift functionality, infinitely com customizable. Um, let's see what else we have. Advanced macro capabilities, which is going to allow your synapse to work with uh, some games that are out there to have different lighting effects uh, for different peripherals and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> works really well with the Logitech um, RGB speakers. However, I don't have those and. I was thinking about getting them, not sure if I am because, again, I don't use my speakers as is, so um, I'll probably be possibly looking at a new headset soon, uh, and if that's the case, uh, it's definitely going to be RGB and wireless. I have yet to figure out what exactly it's going to be, though. So um, let's just let this finish installing, and then, yeah. So once it's done installing, you'll see this. Congratulations. 
please sign in with your razor id or create a new razor id to get started so let's do that all right so once you log in and all that stuff this pops up the razor synapse and then it gives you a quick walkthrough all this other stuff blah 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 yada 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 cool here we go so these are some other things you got the Philips Hue software for like I said when you have the Logitech speakers and some other things it works very well with the Hue lighting system uh, we have the chroma if you have a chroma keyboard which you know it is what it is so we click on chroma and brings us in here um, it gives you different effects that you can do um, there's breathing there's different versions of breathing how fast it can go and all that jazz then you have fire uh, yeah it's a lot of different things you can do in here so <clears throat> for that thing in uh, general all right so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to quick effects we're gonna go to advanced effects and <coughs> We're going to go to the Chroma Studio, and within the Chroma Studio, we're going to we're going to figure out a color scheme that we want. So <clears throat> when you click on it, I'm doing static just because for me, um, I tend to go with one particular color scheme. Um, and right now, uh, as you can see, my color scheme is blue, but um, it's in a breathing pattern now. As you can see, it's kind of changing colors as we go. Uh, Okay, so I've turned off the light so you guys can get a better feel of how the mouse mat looks. And it's pretty vibrant and bright, and I like it a lot. Um, it is, uh, it's only, you can't do addressable RGB, so you can't make it, you know, do the wave effect and all that, or, you know, the rainbow wave and all that stuff, because it's only one single light tube. Uh, it's not individual LEDs in there. So it's just going to be the one consistent light all the way around whatever that lighting is. So we're gonna run through some of the different effects that it has right now so you guys can get a better understanding of it. So this is the spectrum cycling right now. It's just running through the different colors. You know, nothing super fancy. Um, if you have an RGB, anything, you kinda already know what the general effects are gonna be. So uh, let's just run through them real quick. Again, this is spectrum cycling. And now we're gonna go into the breathing mode. Uh, see how that goes as you can see it brightens up then it fades out it brightens up again um, and I have it on random colors so it's just gonna keep breathing in and out on different colors right now so that's that um, the next effect is gonna be reactive um, however for the reactive you have to have a another razorable compatible device ie a mouse or a keyboard for it to do anything so because I don't have that it's not going to do anything right now um, and then you have your static and your static can be set to whatever color you wish to set it to um, so yeah um, so for me being that most of the lights in my setup are this blue I'm going to set it to this bluish green uh, teal of a hue um, but that's the quick effects. Now, if you go to advanced effects, you can play with a bunch of different things and go into the Chroma Studio and all that. Um, and there's different things, fire, which uh, I'm not sure fire is gonna do much of anything, honestly. Um, so yeah, but uh, you can go in here and you can highlight the whole mouse pad. <coughs> and when you do, you can uh, pick which color is going to be. You can randomize it that way. Uh, and yeah, you can change it to kind of whatever you wish it to be uh, for the most part and everything. So that's that. But like I said, for me, um, the quick effects is the way I'm going because I'm pretty much going to have it as a static color um, in my setup for the most part. 
uh, you do see some yellow in here and that's only to tie it into my computer however um, for the most part I'll probably be changing that color to something else I'm not quite sure what but that's the beauty of having RGB you can change your setup and your color scheme to whatever you want whenever you want which is why I love it um, most of my stuff as you can see is black uh, except for my rig being the yellow and black but I'll be changing that soon and once I change it you'll be able to uh, I'll be able to change it to whatever color I feel like it because my whole system will be black and whatever color RGB I choose for that particular day so anyway um, yeah so guys that's about it for this particular video we're gonna wrap it up and um, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a thumbs up and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.